M0FXB. Welcome to my unboxing of this transparent UVK5 made by Quansheng. Now this is exactly the case where I didn't need the radio, but as soon as I saw it in the transparent case with the LEDs flashing, I thought I have to have that. So you think, well, what's the point of having a radio that you don't actually need? Let's get this out of the box whilst we're doing this. So you've got the radio. This one does come with a charger. Some don't now. Of course, it's USB-C charging. You don't need the box. Uh, we've got the manual there, which, you know, I think if you've never used the radio, it does actually come in handy. It's a very basic manual. So why buy a radio that you don't need just because you like the way it looks? Well, why go into a shop, see a nice tasty cake that you really like the look of, eat it, enjoy it, and then... Um, you know, spend six quid on that cake, whatever it is, and a cup of coffee, six pounds, when you can buy this for about 17 pounds, and look at it. I mean, you wait, when I turn it on, how beautiful this radio is, and you keep it forever, and if you're a hobbyist, like most ham radio people are, or even just anyone that like, likes receivers, yeah, then you, why would you not enjoy owning this, even if you don't need it, even if you've got 100 radios? If you get this, and you enjoy using it, it's when you've won. Got my little DV Mega hotspot there in the background. And again, I've got like 20 hotspots. Um, why do I buy them? Why not? I enjoy using them. They give me a lot of pleasure. Right. The antennas on these have always been really good. Nice chunky antennas right from the beginning of, of the release of the Quashangs. Uh, I'm going to save the best bit, turning the radio on a bit longer. So... Antenna, I mean, look at it. You can tell it's going to look smart. Look, you can see the circuit board. You can actually see the circuit board underneath. Come on. How can you not like that? Especially when I turn the radio on. So USB-C charging. Twin pin for programming, of course. And sometimes they give you a free headset, don't they? Not that we ever use them, but they give us them. And then nice clip-on, springy, good solid and all these to the, all the people that say this is um chinese C C R A P. stop being rude stop being rude about any product like that it's just a very horrible way to speak about any product if you don't like it and it's a low price don't buy it so anyway let's turn it on so uh hopefully there's some charge in this yeah it's got a yellow yellow screen Right, I got it on a frequency that I like. Look at that LED light shining through. They always have very good speaker audio. And if you talk to someone using this, you will always get a good report. As long as you're, you know, you're in range. If you're too far away from the radio or the repeater, you're not. So, nice chunky battery goes in the charger well. And it, of course, it covers airband, so we're in, to go into VFO mode. Sorry about the glary screen. You go F then three. Now we're now in memory mode. F then three. And in this, we can type airband. There you go, and it straight away goes to AM. I'm trying to get rid of this glare. It's so glary. And if you want the screen to stay on, you are going to have to, you know, put the a newer, or not newer, uh, sort of specially made firmware, but it, it can be done. But the basics are that when you're in VFO mode, so you go F3, uh, let's do it again, F3. Mode one. That's memory mode. You can go through channels that you've pre-programmed, made lots of videos on that. Or if you go F3, frequency mode, frequency mode it will dual watch. You've got A and B. So to go in to go to A and B, we can actually lower the the, me, the brightness possibly menu. menu. Let's see if I can go to brightness. See all the offset for repeaters, CT, CSS, ABR. That's your screen back timeout, which is only it's a bit rubbish in it. Five seconds. TDR is dual receive. Okay, exit. Trying to get the brightness. Mm. I'm not really doing a teaching video in this one. I just wanted you to show you show you that you can buy these and um, have such fun with them. You don't have 
you can have as many as you like. That's the main point, really. Um, so anyway, let's keep going. So um, F then two, A and B band. You've got Exuma, you've got IJV firmware that you can load on that you know completely opened up. You've got a big torch there. Press that one. Of the, you can program the buttons, to, you know, for what different things that you'd like them to do. Hold it down. Let's hold that one down. That's squelch off. If you go F and zero, it starts up the broadcast radio. Cool. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? F zero. There you go. And if if you receive ham, it does go over the top of it. And these work really well with your local repeater, with your gateway, battery display there as well. Cool. Why is it so bright? This one. Uh, squelch. You've got menus here, look, menu numbers. And then you cycle through the different menus, CT, CSS, offset. So that's it, just a very quick unboxing. I've unboxed these so many times. I wanted to just show you the, the transparent case. And it's just, it's just another gadget that I can grab, take out in the garden, and, um, you know, I can drop it. It won't matter. I can be doing the hoovering, and uh, just enjoy it. Bye for now, 7-3.